Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? Welcome into your tarot reading from the week of the 13th of September. Let's get into your reading and see what is going on. It is going to be a love reading this time. So we're going to get the energies out of you and maybe another person. Um, so let's see what comes up for you guys. I hope you're good out there as well. Before I forget, let me just burn my herbs. I've been a little bit busy this morning and my brain is not yet functioning properly but there we go let's burn those herbs while i'm shuffling these cards let's clear the space of any of the previous readings that i have done and i call in your spirit guides as well to come in and guide this reading for us forward so let's get into this let's get an energy out that's for your person and for you i'm going to put your person's energy here and you the side remember you can reverse these energies because it is a general reading so let's see what's going on here Okay, you've got a chariot card coming in here, which is the move card in the psychic tarot of the heart. And you've got a four of swords. Okay, so this tells me that um, the person that you're thinking about, the person on your mind with regards to this reading, with the just breathe energy, I feel like this reading is for somebody who is not in communication with this person. Um, they got the move card, which is the chariot card, which is actually a pretty positive energy. It's also Cancer's card as well, Cancer's energy, Cancer's tarot card. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's got strong Cancer placement or is a Cancer. Um, I feel like they're holding back from you. Okay, but with this card here, we're going to have to clarify there's a possibility that this person might be reaching out to you because this is the chariot card. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Seven of Wands, you're not sure. You're, you're not sure um, what is happening here. You're not sure if you should reach out to this person because it says choose your battles. You don't know what's happening here. You're not sure how things are going to unfold. So let's see what's coming on here. Hermit Energy. It's Virgo's card. Without a doubt, there's no communication here. So you're in Hermit mode. Uh, but while you're in this hermit mode, I feel like you're trying to figure out what is exactly going on here. Um, are they going to reach out to me? Or are they not going to reach out to me? There's a possibility with the chariot card. It depends. Um, is this chariot card, are they moving towards you or are they moving away from you? Um, whatever they doing, whatever direction this card is going to be showing itself to be in, it depends on whatever's going to be positive or whatever they view as being positive energy. So let's get in here and have a look and see what is going on. Let's get some clarifiers for the cards on the table here. Um, definitely you waiting to see what's going to happen. I almost feel like you're going, I hope that things are going to work out. Things will be okay. But you're not in communication with them and you're trying to figure out what is about to happen. Let's see the chariot card. Nine of Voices. I feel like they're a little bit closed off here. Because of the Nine of Voices coming up there, um, you've got hope in your one here. They've got a High Priestess on their side with the Nine of Voices coming up here. The Ten of Emotion on your side. That's that hope energy. The Nine of Materials. I feel like you're hoping... You're hoping that they're going to reach out to you. I've got to tell you, you've got two nines here. Your nine, it's almost like an energy of, I hope everything's going to build to be strong. I hope everything's going to work out to the ten of emotions. But on their side there, they've got a high priestess here. So the high priestess, when it comes up into the reverse position, it usually indicates that they know something without a doubt. They're trusting their instincts. Right now, I kind of feel like this person is more moving away from your your guys' connection because of the nine of voices that's laying in the reverse position. With the nine of voices in the reverse position, it can usually indicate somebody's feeling um, paranoid or they feel like they've gotten hurt. Usually sometimes they can feel like they've gotten hurt by you. Maybe there were some kind of words that got spoken or something that was said um, that hurt their feelings or they're feeling just paranoid in general. Let's go in here and have a look. Let's get a bit deeper into their energy here and start to have a look and see what is bringing up this energy. I feel like the chariot card for them it's more of an energy of them moving away or moving on almost like without you guys connecting with each other so let's go in deep here what is going on with this nine of voices i feel like the nine of voices needs to be looked at because that's the card that's indicating why they're shutting off they got a seven of pentacles coming in here they want stability but they don't believe it can happen there's an issue there there's a doubt with inside of them that you guys can work things out let's see what else comes up here let's see what's coming up the Empress. You see, there's, it's not that they, I'll tell you straight, I feel like this person does have feelings for you, okay, because the Empress has shown itself. 
I feel like they do have feelings, um, but they feel like this may not be able to be fixed. Because of the Seven of Pentacles, that's also another really interesting card because you've got a Nine of Swords here. Nine of Swords can sometimes indicate um, a lot of overthinking, a lot of worrying, a lot of negative thinking as well. And with the Seven of Pentacles being there, you must understand, Seven of Pentacles is literally a card that talks about, um, I would like to have stability with regards to us, but... I don't believe it can happen. I got a negative vibe that it won't happen. And that's your high priestess. This energy of like, I feel like things may not work out. So I got this feeling here. I don't feel like your person does not have feelings for you. Even in the move card, even in the chariot, I feel like there is times they want to reach out to you. But their mind is overruling that emotion. It's almost like they go, I'm not reaching out because I think like things won't work out. And that's why I'm not reaching out. Um, with the four swords being there as well, um, that is also a card of healing that is taking place um, in them. Or they feel like they need to have a space or healing inside of them. Um, let's have a look on your side here. We're going to get one more of the Psychic Tarot of the Heart out to get an outcome energy. And we'll see as things are going to unfold. On your side, same energy. You're matching each other. You both got the nine of swords here. So this is the same, same energy. It's you also worrying, will we ever actually be able to come back together? Will we ever um, be able to get to the Ten of Cups here? Will I ever hear from them again? And now, guys, I'm going to say something. Always in the comments, whenever I have a reading like this, and I know... Whoever is watching this reading, whoever this reading is meant for, because it is a general reading. If you want to have a more specific reading, you book a personal reading. This may not resonate with everybody. There's going to be somebody out there, and I know who you are, who's going to comment and say, I will never get back together with this person. I will never do this. And then this reading is not for you. You don't even have to comment. You know, I mean, if the heading says there's hope that you guys can get back together and you don't have hope, then don't watch the reading. I'm just saying. Um... Just, you know, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, this is a reading for somebody who has is hoping that you guys can get to the Ten of Cups energy. They still hope that they will come back and contact you. And the funny thing is, it's not that... Um, you're picking up on false things. I do feel like this person does still have emotion for you. It might even be hard for them not to come back to towards you. I feel like it's more they're trying to... It's like they they feel like, am I wasting my time? Is this actually going to work out? And that is what's making them hold back. Because they may feel like it may not be able to work out, even if you guys try. So there's the, the, the issue. So look, Knight of Wands energy, that question, a lot of questions. I feel like you're waiting for this person to contact you. You're waiting for them to reach out to you, waiting for them to come back in on that Knight of Wands. But at the same time, you have questions about them as well. You could be questioning, are they the type of person that wants to settle down? A lot of things you could be asking here. I think when you get into this Nine of Swords energy, where you start thinking about them, you could be questioning, are they seeing someone else? Um, are they going to come back in? Are they um, in love with me? Did they ever love me? You know, there are all those kinds of questions. You could even be asking, is what is this person have? Maybe they're just like a player or a something. I'm going to ask for you guys. The questions that you're asking, do you have any, like the negative aspects, like more of the, um, do they really love me? Uh, did they always, did they never mean to maybe be with me? Are they, do you have grounds for those kind of thoughts? Or is it more in your worry, more worries that you're having? page of swords honestly i feel like this reading is quite interesting i feel like it's more in your mind i feel like you could be panicking a little bit or overthinking a little bit which is obviously kind of a normal energy and then at the same time i also feel like um their worries is more about you guys not working out with each other and the reason why they're putting back is not because they ever meant to hurt you to be totally honest i feel like it's they more don't want something to keep going on and it's not the problems are not getting solved and that's for me the real reason why they're holding back they still got the empress in their energy and the empress does mean um nurturing and loving energy but it's in the reverse position meaning that there's problems with regards to that 
working out. So let's get one more card out here for some advice for you guys as we exit this reading. I feel like they're holding back. Will they ever work through this and reach out to you? Let's have a look and see. Maybe we'll see what happens. Let's see what card comes up. Will they in the future? Is there hope here? Control, confront, energy. Um, this is the moon card. I'm going to get one more card out here. I feel you've got Pisces as an energy also coming up here with the moon card as well. There's Cancer and Pisces showing itself here. Uh, oh, and Virgo as well with the Hermit card. Um, the moon card, it's a mystery, energy. Um, you might confront them. You might reach out to them if they haven't done something like blocked you. Because sometimes with the Four of Swords, you've got to be careful somebody hasn't like blocked you your number or your contact or something like that um, or they're not communicating but that confront energy sometimes the moon card can indicate um things that are hidden i want to see what is this what let's go deeper into this moon card here and we can have a look and see will you possibly be able to hear from them sometime in the future will they pass this energy here what is hidden ten of wands i think you're going to hear from them you're going to hear from them. You have to allow them. They don't know. This is what I can pick up on. And that charcoal block, block just popped there. They don't know what they want right now. That's why we've got the moon card. They're not sure what to do. Um, they, as they're moving forward here, yeah, I feel like they're totally trusting their intuition, their feelings. But also as well, in the future, I don't feel like they know. I honestly feel like you will hear from them because you've got a Ten of Wands here. But the energy of them reaching out to you is not going to be while they're in this mode. They're going to reach out to you only when they have um, released the stress and the worry and that kind of energy. Once they've released this and they've put it into the past and their emotions calm down from this nine of swords, I think that is when they will reach out to you again. Maybe just to kind of like say hi or to test the waters in some kind of way. But I do feel like they will reach for you, reach out to you. But it's not going to be now. It has to end this ten of wands, which is the stress this nine of swords here, the anxiety, the worries about your guys' connection. I feel like they have to kind of like heal from it and make peace with it before they actually reach out to you. But there we go. Thank you so much, Aries, for coming into this reading. I'm wishing you all the best as you move forward. Um, you're going to have to be patient. I don't know if you can. Remember, um, what you know, the one of the things that I know is that when you're waiting for something to happen, it delays it from happening so the more you kind of like check your phone the more you kind of like checking up on this person maybe on social media you go and check on their instagram and see what they're doing and um trying to find out about what's going on it can prevent them from actually reaching out so sometimes truly um to be honest you have to sometimes release people and if they truly meant for you they will come towards you what is meant for you will always be yours so there's actually nothing that you can do towards making them come in you have to just believe if this person is meant to be in my life they will be in my life and what is meant for me is going to come for me no matter what I do and um, focus on your own um own healing yeah focus on how you're feeling um focus on how you're feeling on an everyday basis but there we go thank you so much for coming in if the reading resonates hit that thumbs up button subscribe so you can catch the readings they do come out twice a week once for the weekdays and once for weekends otherwise guys if you want a personal reading as well i've got a discount going on uh, you can check it out there's an email in the description box below of this video otherwise i'm sending my love to you wherever you may be i'm wishing you all the best as you go through your day bye